Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we will do lesson 9.6 at fractional parts of 10 and 100. Our essential question is how can you add fractions when denominators are 10 or 100? So for example, we will know how to add fractions like 5 tenth plus 4 hundredth. So to know how we'll do this, let's unlock the problem. The fourth grade classes are painting designs on tile squares to make a mural. Mrs. Kick's class painted 3 tenths of the mural. Mr. Picker's class painted 21 hundredth of the mural. What part of mural is painted? You know how to add fractions with parts that are the same size. You can use equivalent fractions to add fractions with parts that are not the same. Okay, so here, what part of the moral is painted? We have 3 tenths and 21 hundredths. We need to add them. The problem here is that they don't have common denominators. They don't have the same denominator. So we will try to use common denominators here. So we are trying to find 3 tenth plus 21 hundredth. Okay, so a common denominator for 10 and 100 is 100 because 100 is a common multiple of 10 and 100. Okay, so to make the 10 100, we can multiply it by 10. So 10 multiply 10 is 100. So I have to go up and multiply the numerator also by 10. So I get 3 multiplied 10, which is 30 hundredth. Now, the 3 tenth is equivalent to 30 hundredth. So now, instead of adding the 3 tenth, I will add the 30 hundredth plus 21 hundredth. Now we have common denominator. So we just write it and we add the numerators. 1 plus 0, 1. 3 plus 2. 5 so 51 hundredth so again what we did is we used common denominator i multiplied the 10 by 10 to get 100 so i multiply up the 3 by 10 to get 30 and add the 30 hundredth plus the 21 hundredth i got 51 hundredth okay here is another example we need to add four hundredth plus one tenth okay the same problem here we need to use common denominator and we know that 10 multiply 10 equals the hundred so i'll take the one tenth and multiply it up and down by 10 so 10 multiply 10 is 100 1 multiply 10 is 10. now i add the four hundredth plus the ten hundredth so I get fourteen hundredth okay to make it easy guys we can do it like this we have four hundredth plus one tenth we don't have to write all of these steps we can do it just like this if I multiply by ten up and down I can just put one zero up and one zero down and now I add 4 plus 10, 14, and now the denominator is 100, I write it. So I can just put 1, 0 up and 1, 0 down, and I add the numerators. Example 2, add decimals. Sean lives 5 tenth mile from the store. The store is 25 hundredth mile from his grandmother's house. Sean is going to walk to the store and then to his grandmother's house. How far will he walk? So he will walk 5 tenth mile and 25 hundredth mile. So we'll add them. So we need to find 5 tenth plus 25 hundredth. Okay, so 5 tenth, if we wrote it as a fraction, it will be 5 over 10 and 25 hundredth if we wrote it as a fraction it will be 25 over 100 
so the same problem like up we have here 10 and we have here 100 we need to use common denominators so to add 5 tenth and 25 hundredth is the same as 5 over 10 plus 25 over 100 and now we'll use common denominator the 10 I'll make it 100 by multiplying by 10 up and down so 5 multiply 10 is 50 hundredth so instead of 5 tenth it will be 50 hundredth so instead of 5 tenth it will be 50 hundredth plus the 25 hundredth now I can add easily 50 plus 25 0 plus 5 5 5 plus 2 7 75 and I just write the denominator 100 so it's 2500 if we need to write it back as decimal it will be we don't have any whole number so I write 0 10 point then I write the 75 so Sean will walk 75 hundredth mile okay let's make it easy we took in the last lesson that we have something called equivalent decimals and we said if we write to the right of the decimal number as much as years as we want the number will be the same so here I can just easily put zero here so this is now hundredth and this is now hundredth I can add them so it will be equal zero plus five 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 plus two seven then I write the decimal point and zero so 75 hundredth so again if we have one decimal digit here and two decimal digits here so I can write zero here to make it two digits here and two digits here and I can just add so I can just put a zero and add zero plus five 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 plus two seven and then the decimal point and then I write the zero you don't have to do all of these steps okay so let's try to find 25 cents plus 40 cents okay so here we have two decimal digits and two decimal digits here so we don't need to write any zeros he already wrote the zero for us so 5 plus 0 5 2 plus 4 6 then I write the decimal point then 0 plus 0 0 and I write the dollar sign so 65 cents so if you have two decimal digits and two decimal digits you are fine you just add from the right And now for share and show let's add 7 tenth plus 500 the problem again we don't have common denominators we have to make them common denominators I'll make the denominator 100 so this one doesn't change I write the 5 here okay this one it changes I'll put 0 down and 0 up it means I multiply it by 10 so here's 70 over 100 now I add 70 plus 5, 75, and I write the 100 down. Okay, here, the same problem again. We have 10 here, we have 100 here. I can just put 10 here and 10 here. 10 up and 10 down. Now I add 10 plus 11 is 21 over 100 down here I have 100 but here 10 let's make it 100 so I put 10 here and 10 here now I add 6 plus 0 6 5 plus 3 8 and the 100 down here we have two digits and two digits we are fine we can just add 6 plus 5 it's 11 I write 1 and carry up one now one plus one two 
plus 4 6 then I write the decimal point and 0, zero plus 0 0 here two digits and two digits we are fine 8 plus 8 16 I write 6 and 1 up now 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 8 is 9 and then I write the decimal point and then 0 plus 0 is 0 so guys it's easy if you have fractions you can just make the 10 100 by multiplying by 10 you just write 1 0 up and 1 0 down if it's a decimals you can just add if they both have two decimal digits and if one of them is 10th and the other is 100th like this 0 0.8 plus 0 0.12 you can simply put one zero here because here is one digit and here is two digits this is tenth and this is hundredth so if I put zero here this number doesn't change this is equivalent to eight tenth eighty hundredth is equivalent to eight tenth and you can just add two plus zero to one plus eight 9 then you write the decimal point and the zero hope you guys enjoyed the lesson and now it's your turn you solve on your own questions and if you are in my class we will check them together on the live session have a nice day bye